about a guy who's kind of going through a breakdown, like a life crisis, or do you think he's kind of becoming enlightened? Well, yeah, not kinda. Um, <laughs> no, kinda about it. Uh, but that's the great thing. He, it's really tricky. I'm not being coy uh, by saying, well, I don't want to go away too much. I really don't, because it would be unfair, frankly. But um, yeah, that's the thing that you, you get, and I'm in the movie, and I read the script, and I did all the discussions, and I did all the rehearsal, and I did all of it, and yet when I saw it, you would go, wow, he had to go that crazy to get that sane. You know, he had to get, he had to go that crazy to find that little sweet spot, you know? Um, and I think I personally kind of did it <laughs> a little bit. And, and in this, we had the luxury, as hard as it was and grueling as it could be, we had the luxury of over and over and over again, every time you sit, just say the words over and over again, you start to hear them. Like, you know, being in a play, you, you hear it, hear it, hear it, and you go, oh, wow, I never heard that line come out of my mouth. That way I, you find another level to it or something without sounding totally uh, pretentious and obnoxious. But you do, you have that. That's a, that's a great luxury to have. Um, it was hard, though. It was a lot like dancing with the stars. <laughs> <laughs> rehearsals, rehearsals are great because it's a low stakes, zero cost way to figure out a lot of what often gets done while you're making the movie under a lot of pressure. You know, I, I, I find it to be a much, you know, get to stand around with a coffee and wonder when is Keaton going to learn his lines. <laughs> Which was the first day, by the way. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Um, yeah. Let's jump into our Speedos and fight. <laughs> Actually, you're in your underwear on the line in this movie, too. There's a lot of underwear shots. Yes. Yeah. But Once just, again, Alejandro. Alejandro. <laughs> Looking ahead, this is the superhero genre, and although we've determined that this is really not in, but because you both uh, been in these types of films. Is, this, is it something that but it's, you... But it's about the superhero. It is about that. The, the, the superhero genre is, is, you know, kind of part of the heart of the debate of the movie. You know? Yeah. Do you have any plans or desire to hit, like, another big superhero movie anytime in the future? Or is it... I don't really... I, I mean... I, I think there are... Like, I'm not someone who... I've said it, you know, many times. Like I, I grew up on all of those, the graphic novels, the Frank Miller. That I, I was obsessed with that stuff. So, I, I think that it's a, you know, it's, it's this rich pool of stuff that's become almost, you know, a, a whole, like modern day canon of like mythic stories for a lot of us, and we kind of all sit around hoping that someone's gonna make a film that make films out of that type of material that captures how serious it felt for us at that time in our life. So whether it's something original and new or whether it's one of the kind of can you know, if when things like that come along, I don't I don't ever discount the idea of doing it. It always is the same thing. It depends on with who and is it well written and what's the vision and that's that's really the criteria, I think. It no, shouldn't be any different than any other movie.